The year 2023 is shaping up to be a tough one for car enthusiasts. Some of the coolest, most iconic cars on the road will be discontinued, leaving a void in the automotive world. These cars are all unique in their own way, and they've captured the hearts of car lovers everywhere. Join us as we take a look at some of the coolest cars that will be discontinued in 2023. The Lamborghini Aventador is a supercar that has been a staple of the automotive world for over a decade. It was first introduced in 2011, and it quickly became one of the most popular and sought-after cars on the market. But after 12 years of production, the Aventador has finally been discontinued. The Aventador was a technological marvel when it was first introduced. The Aventador's name is derived from the Spanish word for conqueror, and it certainly lived up to its name. The car was a huge success for Lamborghini, and it helped to cement the company's reputation as a maker of high-performance supercars. Over the years, Lamborghini released a number of special editions of the Aventador, including the S, SV, and SVJ. The most recent Aventador was the LP 784 Ultimate, which was limited to just 600 units. The Aventador's discontinuation marks the end of an era for Lamborghini. The car was a symbol of the company's engineering prowess and its commitment to producing high-performance supercars. However, the Aventador's legacy will live on, and its successor is sure to be just as impressive. The arrival of the second-generation Audi R8 in 2015 marked a momentous chapter in the annals of automotive history. With its grand unveiling, Audi showcased a fusion of artistry and engineering that captivated enthusiasts worldwide. Central to the R8's allure was the introduction of all-wheel drive models, which underscored Audi's commitment to exceptional handling and performance. This expansion was further magnified in 2017 with the release of the R8's rear-wheel drive variant offering drivers a raw, unfiltered connection to the road. The R8's journey reached another milestone in 2020 with a facelift that refined its appearance while staying faithful to its iconic design language. The discontinuation of the second-generation Audi R8 is a sign of the times. As the automotive industry moves towards electrification, more and more traditional cars are being discontinued. As the years unfolded, 2023 emerged as a poignant chapter in the R8's saga. The GT model, a spectacular swan song, showcased the supercar's evolution and paid tribute to the V10 engine that had been Audi's performance flagship since 2008. This GT model captured the essence of the R8's power and finesse, serving as a fitting farewell to an era defined by unrivaled performance. The second-generation Ford GT was introduced in 2016 as a limited-production supercar to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original GT40's Le Mans victories. The second-generation GT was a critical and commercial success. All 1,000 units that were produced were sold in less than 24 hours. The GT also won a number of awards, including the 2017 Motor Trend Car of the Year. In 2023, Ford announced that the second-generation Ford GT would be discontinued. The company cited declining sales as the reason for the discontinuation. The final Ford GTs were produced in 2023, and the car is now considered a collector's item. The second-generation Ford GT was a fitting tribute to the original GT40. It was a fast, powerful, and technologically advanced supercar that embodied the spirit of Ford's racing heritage. The GT will be missed, but its legacy will live on for years to come. In addition to the standard road car, Ford also produced a limited number of versions of the second-generation GT. These cars were known as the Ford GT Mark II and the Ford GT Heritage Edition. The Mark II was designed for racing in the FIA World Endurance Championship, while the Heritage Edition was a tribute to the original 1966 GT40 Mark II. The second-generation Ford GT was a successful car that helped to revive the Ford GT nameplate. It is a reminder of Ford's commitment to racing and its ability to produce world-class supercars. The GT will be missed, but its legacy will live on for years to come. The seventh-generation Dodge Charger and the third-generation Dodge Challenger, a symbol of American muscle, Charger was introduced in 2011 and Challenger was introduced in 2008, redefining performance with its robust Hemi V8 engines. 
It was available in three displacements, 5.7 liters, 6.4 liters, and 6.2 liters. Around mid-2010, it catapulted into supercar territory, delivering staggering horsepower and acceleration. In 2023, Dodge discontinued the Hemi V8 engines. The company did not cite a reason for the discontinuation, but it is possible that they were shifting their focus toward electric vehicles. However, most of us would disagree with this change. We believe that the Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger are iconic American muscle cars that should continue to be offered with a powerful Hemi V8 engine. The Dodge Hemi V8 was a significant car in the history of American muscle cars. It was the most powerful and efficient Hemi V8 ever produced, and it helped to revive the Charger and Challenger nameplate. The Charger and Challenger will be missed, but their legacy will live on for years to come. We hope that Dodge will reconsider their decision to discontinue Charger and Challenger. We believe that there is still a strong demand for those cars and that it would be a mistake to remove them from the lineup. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. Please like and share. Stay tuned and drive safe.